Hi, I'm Gabby Schwartz. I'm a news writer for the Daily Cardinal here with Daniel Einstein. Could you tell us a little bit about what you do here? Uh, I'm the, the Historic and Cultural Resource Manager on campus, so I get to work with historic structures, public art, and archaeological sites. And he's going to give us a brief little tour um, about the native landmarks around the UW-Madison campus. So could you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Sure. Um, the university occupies a land area, a territory, that's been occupied by humans for over 12,000 years. Uh, Europeans have been in this area for a couple of hundred years, about 1% of the total time that humans have occupied the Four Lakes region. This, uh, this map identifies some of the burial sites. Uh, they're about a thousand years old. These sites are uh, characterized by earthworks in the shapes of animals and sometimes water spirits. And that burial practice is unusual in the world. The UW-Madison campus has more of these effigy mounds than any other campus in the world. So we're at the center of a very unique cultural landscape. Four groupings of effigy mounds here on campus. At the far west end is the Eagle Heights Mound group. At Picnic Point there is a second group. Near Dejo Paul, where we are right now, is a third group. And at the uh, crest of Observatory Hill by Washburn Observatory is a fourth group. Yeah. Um, at one time, we had uh, over 50 of these earthwork mounds where humans were buried. Uh, and now there's approximately uh, 35, including the ones out at the Arboretum. More mounds than any other campus in the world. So we are in the lobby of Dijo Paul, and on the floor, what are we looking at right here? So these are representations of uh, two mounds. We believe, based on the information that's been shared with us, that these two forms represent key elements in the native cosmology, representing the upper world, the bird, and the lower world, the water spirit. Water spirits are often found close by uh, springs or lakes and are thought to uh, guard portals to the underworld. People are not so certain what this uh, particular mound represents. Mm -hmm. This is what is referred to as a round form or conical, sometimes you'll see that in the literature. And then this is a bird form and most people seem to think that it represents a goose flying off uh, towards the west where there was a wetland uh, university bay. So you're saying there has been some controversy that there are in fact burial, there are people's bodies under Bascom Hill or under those other locations. Are you saying that they're no longer there, that they were removed or they're just built over? I can't say with, with certainty. Um, you know, there's, there's a limit to what's knowable. Right. Um, I can tell you that there were above ground earth features that were destroyed. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you that the underground features, that the skeletal remains um, are there or not there? I can't, I can't say with any certainty. But people do talk about mounds being destroyed. And I think you need to be careful um, making that assumption because what may have happened is the above ground feature was compromised but the burial uh, feature still exists mm -hmm. and that that happens uh, either through uh, plowing or just landscape uh, uh, changes all right well switching gears could you tell us where we are right now sure so we're we're on the north side of Dejo Paul and uh, housing wanted to create a space where um, people could gather and have an opportunity to both explore their university experience 
but also recognize the, uh, the 12 native nations of Wisconsin. And so um, on the interior face of this seating wall um, are the seals of the Wisconsin native nations.